All right, so you want the story of John O'Brien? The story of John O'Brien is a very sad story. It starts out back in hmm, 2000 and 2000. 12 years ago, man. And so I'm working at a place called CD World on Route 70. It's this awesome little independently owned record shop and I loved that job. It was like my favorite job I've ever had. We worked at CD World together, man. Does that mean nothing to you? I started there in high school and thought everyone that worked there was so cool and so musically above me and I really respected them and thought that they were the best. So um, I worked there for about four years. One of the guys that worked there was John O'Brien. Curse you, O'Brien! Who was a couple years older than me and like liked a lot of cool music and who I like really thought was like really awesome. And out and you know, after I stopped working there in college, I the store closed and like I never saw any of them ever again. So I, sometimes I wonder what happened to all those CD World people, you know? So one day I'm at a Radiohead concert and I see John O'Brien in the parking lot and I was like, "Oh my god, John O'Brien, how are you? Like how, can you believe this? Like I haven't seen you in years and how's everyone from CD World? Like how's Serena? How is everyone?" Do you keep in touch with them? And we were talking for a while about it. And then, you know, we went in our own separate ways and saw the show. And then a couple years later, I saw him again at Kaminsky's. And the same thing happened. I was just walking by and someone pulled my arm and was like, Patty Ryan? And I was like, oh my God, John. And we were like kind of buzzed. And we were like, you know, bringing back old memories about CD World and reminiscing of the good old days. And then I went off with my friends and like whatever, I didn't see him after that. So the next I hear of John O'Brien, I'm working on and you, Frankie, walk up to me and start talking. We're like, you know, figuring out we know all these mutual people and one of them turns out to be John O'Brien. So you're like, yeah, man, he's one of my best friends. Like, yeah, I totally know John O'Brien. Like, we've been best friends for so long. And I was like, oh, tell John O'Brien. I said, what's up? I haven't seen him in years, but we work together and blah, blah, blah. So I think to myself, hmm, I wonder what John O'Brien's up to. So I look him up on Facebook and I add him and he never accepts the request. This is such bullshit. Who wouldn't accept my friend request? So I'm like, what is going on? So whatever, a couple weeks go by, we're out at happy hour and his name came up and I was like, yeah, he never accepted my friend request. That's so fucked up. What the fuck, man? You can't accept my friend request? So you, I was like, text him and tell him to go fuck himself. So he texted him and said to go fuck himself and he laughed or whatever back and I was just joking, obviously. <laughs> but the next time we were at PJ's was for your birthday and I was there and he showed up. This is such bullshit! And was could not have been less excited to see me. And I was like, what the fuck is going on? Like, first you don't accept my friend request, now you're giving me the cold shoulder of PJs, I thought we were friends, and that John was so cool, and he totally snubbed me. I thought we were friends! And I have no idea why. So basically, what I want to know is John O'Brien. What the fuck, man? You know, I never liked you anyway.